Hi amigos, Knife Detector here. So a while back, I told you I was I was lucky enough to win a small knife lot on eBay. And one of them was a 1960s SAK Fisherman knife. And it was a beauty of a knife. And it even had the clevis. I showed it to you. It was amazing. And I have that knife. And I do use it every now and then. But this is the other reason I purchased that knife lot. This is a vintage 1960s Victorinox Master Craftsman. And I'm going to show you some of the things that make it a little bit imperfect. But the fact that it's imperfect makes it perfect for me. Because I am going to be carrying this knife more often than if it were in perfect condition. Because the imperfections just mean that it makes it a user knife for me. And I love user knives because that means I can actually use them to do yard work, uh, to open packages, uh, cut cord, anything that, that might uh, I might need doing at that time. So uh, join me on this little journey through the 1960s and let's take a look at this 1960s Victorinox guys. All right. First thing I want to show you is yes, the clevis broke off many years ago. And right now it does nothing more than just spin freely. The little nubs that are left there. I have to wonder if it broke off or if somebody intentionally took it off because it bothered them. Notice also the toothpick is missing. Now this knife, this knife does have the square Phillips, which I do like very much. And look at that, this square Phillips has the file. Look at that, very, very nice. Now this Phillips does not have the can key, as you can see. And it looks like this has never really even been used. Wow, great shape guys, absolutely just great shape. Nice, strong snap. Another thing I want you to notice, and I'm going to show it to you so I don't cut myself, is look at the nice condition of this clip point blade. You can tell it has been sharpened a little bit, but it is quite sharp and um, had a little bit of rust, as you can see, still has a little bit there, And but it does the job. And I really like the clip point blade on these Swiss Army knives. And so we're going to put that away. So another thing we're going to look at is right here. We're going to look at this flat head with the wire stripper. Notice how it has a bit of a sharpened edge right here. Very useful for wire stripping right there. Very nice. Let's take a look at the main blade. Now, it is really shiny. Very shiny for the 1960s. It has been used, has been sharpened. It says Victoria Officer Suisse. It's got the crossbow. Over here it says Victorinox, Switzerland, right? But this is a Victorian knife. Check it out, amigos. It's a Victoria. And what I like about this is that the blade is actually in quite nice shape for its age, don't you think? I mean, I wish I was in that good of shape. And I'm not even from the 60s. I'm from the 70s. So let's check out this can opener. It's got the Swiss pat, very pronounced right there. Really like that. This is just in really good shape for its age. You know, I've shown you the things it has wrong with it, but it's got more right than it does wrong. These scissors have hardly been used, and notice it's got the single spring. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. What other gifts do the Swiss Army Knife Gods present us with today? Hmm. Well, we also have the file. This file has a little bit of rust right there. It's got these little teeth to cut through some metal. Very, very good looking file. Hardly used at all. What else do we got? Oh, look, we got a saw. The legendary Victorinox saw that looks like it's never been used. Look at those sharp teeth, amigos. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do we have any other amenities? Well, on this side, we have the reamer. Look at that. No hole. Still almost untouched. Seems like the person that used this before me and had this before me probably owned it for many years and really just used the knife and uh, possibly the toothpick, the knives, and left everything else alone. I mean, the scales are actually in quite nice shape. It's got that nickel silver in there. Really, really good. Now, these knives from the 60s also have the aluminum tip on the tweezers. All right, isn't that just a fancy knife, guys? I mean, I really like this, but not so fancy that you're not going to use it. 
Love these knives with the square Phillips. Um, this is going to be something that I'm going to use quite often because I do get quite a bit of use out of uh, out of um, the Phillips, and uh, this seems to be quite useful as well. Not bad at all, and I do get a lot of use out of the main blade. Uh, it is quite sharp right now, but I think you can do with a, just a little bit of honing. Not too bad. Yeah. And that little one, that little clip, is actually quite sharp as is. If you look closely, you can see somebody tried to use it as a screwdriver or pry with it or something. Just on the tip, just barely. You can hardly notice it. But that's plenty sharp. All right, guys. So, can you believe I got this one and a fisherman that was in such fantastic shape and some cheap, you know, diamond, uh, I don't know, one of those fake Swiss Army knives, superior diamond knives or something like that, along with two 1960s knives. These were estate sale knives, I think, guys. Somebody owned these, all of these. And, you know, when I get things like this sometimes and I just like to send positive vibes to whoever had it before and I like to give thanks you know to my creator for being able to have such treasures because I know that before they belong to me they belong to somebody else all right my friends this is another one from the knife detector God bless you the weekend is upon you good luck and happy detecting